Hey guys, so I have another fantastic recipe here. Um, so I wonder if you can guess what I'm going to cook. Okay, so I am cooking stew peas and rice. So I guess this would be the stew peas part of it. And then the rice part is just white rice or anything like that. Okay, so here I have um, salted ox tail. So the salted ox tail works as well like, you know when you use pigtail and you have to soak the pigtail or boil out the pigtail. The ox tail is the same thing. You just boil it three times, I guess five minutes each. Five minutes, you boil it, you throw out the water, you boil it again, you throw out the water, and you just keep repeat like three times. Okay, and here I have salted beef. Same procedure, boil it three times for five minutes, throw off the water, you know, and here we have pigtail. But what I might do is cook, what I'm gonna do is cook the pigtail separate because uh, I have family member that does not eat pigtail, so I'm not gonna cook it with the stew peas, with the rest of the, the meats, okay? And here is the, here we have the red peas. So this is red kidney beans. I like to use the small red kidney beans because I, I'm not too crazy about the big ones because they have some big ones, you know, when it's cooked, it gets mushy, and I like this size. Okay, and as I said, here are our other ingredients. So, so why I, I seasoned this lightly, although I'm gonna boil it out because I think season it overnight, the flavor just stays in, like you know, goes right down to the bone and it gives it a delicious flavor. Okay, so that's the salted uh, beef. This is the pigtail. I season everything, guys, everything. Even if I'm gonna boil it out, at least the flavor is in the water, right? And this is for tomorrow, so I'm gonna leave this in the fridge overnight. And tomorrow you'll see how everything is gonna come together. So good morning, guys. So I am ready to cook the stew peas and rice. I gotta run out the road for about half an hour. Gotta go get my mother from the supermarket. So, so far I have the stock. So in this I have water, green onion, onion, garlic, and a little bit of um, pumpkin beef soup mix. Not the soup mix itself, but the seasoning part of it I have in here. And I usually put like a little bit of garlic powder, you know, whatever flavor match with the stew peas I added. And I have my pots here for just to boil out the, the, um, the salted oxtail and pigtail and all that. So. I gotta run out, but you know what? It's my mother, so I gotta go and I'll be back. So hi guys, I am back. So I so it was what three and a half hours ago. I told you that I was gonna go pick up my mother from the grocery store. I thought it would take me an hour. Three and a half hours later, here I am. The pot is on the stove with the I told the stock. I usually boil like um, garlic onion and all that to start off the stew peas I'm making anyways I am back I honestly didn't feel like filming because it's so hot it's so hot outside and I have three stove on so it's extra hot in here in the kitchen but anyways there's I have two fan going and it's facing the kitchen where I am so it's not too bad I gotta make this video okay so showing you how I make Peas. Everybody have their own way and you know what just respect everybody's way of cooking. I do. I respect everybody's way of cooking and we always you know we can always learn something from someone. So here we go guys. So right now I have the peas here. So this is red kidney beans and I have it here. What I do I just wash it. See, I'm just washing them and um, sometimes there's like some hard stuff in here like rocks. So like this I get rid of, you know, and let's see what else. This I get rid of. See, just wash it, throw the water. I think you guys get the idea. Just kind of rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. You know, but sometimes there's even dirt on these things and you don't even know who was handling it before, so. Just make sure that you wash it. So this is probably, I think, the fifth wash and rinse I gave it so far. Rinse and drain. Rinse and drain. <laughs> so there it is, okay? 
and I'll show you what I have doing over here so here is the um, pigtail okay I am boiling out the salt don't boil out too much of the salt so what I'm gonna do is boil it three times so right now it was boiling for five minutes I'm just gonna throw off the water catch it again boil it again for five minutes throw off the water catch it again boil it like do it three times and then it's perfect same thing with the salt beef and the oxtail the salt beef and the oxtail is in one pot so I'm gonna do the same thing three time boil and empty and here I have the stock cooking that's been cooking since I was done guys the stove was actually on medium and someone was watching it for me you know I have assistance no 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 I don't I don't no assistance so I have um, salt beef here, here. So we don't got it. So you you're not gonna um, boil out this because this is just regular stew beef, okay? Stew beef. Um, did I say salt beef? No, it's not salt beef. Fresh beef, I mean. Fresh beef. This is not salt beef. This is fresh stewing beef, okay? And I seasoned it up from last night. So as I said, everybody have their own way of cooking stew peas. This is mine, okay? So what I do, I season my meat. You don't put no browning, no browning, don't put browning because this is not like when you're browning beef or, or chicken. You just add, um, see I have thyme, I have some, um, okay, to show you, this is what I season, I season it with also. Okay, but you strain it, you don't put the, um, you don't put the noodles in there, you strain it, you just want the powder, the powder part of this. Okay, so this is the only powder seasoning really I use and... Um, and I also put um, onion powder and fresh onion no sorry garlic powder fresh garlic I, I cook with a lot of garlic guys and um, thyme there's hot pepper if you can get scotch bonnet better for you because scotch bonnet have such great flavor one day I'll, I'll do a video on different types of hot peppers because there are so many and you know so I'll do a video on that one day so this is a fresh beef so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna add the uh, when my stock uh, I think I'll let it boil down a little bit more maybe next 10 minutes so when I strain off uh, the salt meats then it will be ready to cook okay so that's gonna be in the next 15 minutes yeah 15 minutes of salt beef and stuff will be ready okay so I'm gonna put the, the salt beef and the peas in the pot together and then and then about half an hour after that I'm gonna add the, the beef because I don't want to add the put the salt beef and the peas I don't want to add the salt beef and the peas in the pot at the same time because I don't want the peas to to like mash out in the pot you know overcook I want the peas and the meat to cook at the same time so I'm gonna put the 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 salt the salt meats in the pot with the peas and let it all cook together and then half an hour later I'll add the or 40 minutes later I could even add the the fresh beef and so here it is so right now I'm just gonna strain this off add add fresh water to it boil it again and then when that's when that's ready then I'm gonna add it to this pot with the peas okay so here I am guys I thought I'd show you this okay I'm just straining off the, the salt meats Ooh. okay there it is guys strain it off okay, I'm also washing it trying to just wash out all the salt Okay, and I'm going to catch new water again. Catch the new water. So here it is guys, salt beef. I just drained it. I'm going to catch more water again, put it back to boil, and do it one last time after this again, okay? So now guys, I put um, the salt beef in the pot plus the peas. And I'm gonna let it, um, I'm just gonna let it cook. Oops, sorry about that. Just gonna let it cook for the next, yeah, just cook in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna put the stew beef in to cook with it, okay? 20 to 40 minutes. I think maybe, I'd say safely speaking, next 40 minutes I'll put the stew beef in because the stew beef is so tender, it's easier 
it cooks faster. So here we have the salt meat and the peas and thyme, onion, garlic. I'm gonna put green onion in later and I also put a bit of um, coconut milk powder in, about a tablespoon. So remember, I'll post the whole recipe, okay? So that is our stewed peas cooking. So guys, here's the stew peas. So this is after 40 minutes. All the meat is now in the pot. The salt beef, the fresh beef, the peas, and all the delicious seasoning. Oh, and I forgot to say I did put crushed pimento. I crushed the pimento seeds and um, put in. Make sure that it's really crushed because you don't want to bite on a piece of meat and then you, you know, you bite down hard on a piece of pimento and crack your teeth. So here it is. So you know what, this, I think, for, I, I would say from start to finish, stew peas probably take about two and a half hours, okay? I didn't pressure anything. I didn't pressure any of the meat. I just cook it, you know, just cook it in the pot. You can pressure if you have a pressure cooker. I do have a pressure cooker, but I choose not to use it because I'm not in a hurry and I just like when it, I like when it just cook, you know? It takes two and a half hours, it's fine. I'm not in a rush. It's fine. So been going now for 40 minutes and everything is in the pot well um, the last half hour I say the last hour of cooking I'm gonna put some spinners in which is really dumpling but you kind of roll it like long way and you put it in I'll, I'll show you all that when it's time okay so here it is guys the pot is going good our stew peas Okay guys, now the pot is ready for the spinner, see? Look, most of everything in here is already cooked. The meat is nice and, don't ever do that. <laughs> the meat is nice and tender in the pot. See, look, nice and tender, okay? Make sure you wash your hands, okay? I always wash my hands 10 times before I come in the kitchen. Sometimes I'm seasoning stuff, I use gloves. Um, yeah, see? So everything is nice and tender, and now it's ready for the spinners. Spinners is really dumpling that you spin. So as I said, make sure you wash your hands nice and clean. Okay, so now we're ready for the spinners. I prepared my dough an hour ago and I just had it covered tightly. Right, there you go, spinners. See, this is it. That's what you call spinners. Some people make their dumpling different. As I said, you know, everybody cook, uh, have their own way of cooking. This is my way. And after over 30 years of being in the kitchen, being a home chef, this is my way. And uh, my daughter just said to me, she said, you said that this food will be ready by 5, by what, 5.30? And now it's what, an hour later? There you go. And you know what she said to me? She goes, real Jamaican. <laughs> real Jamaican. You say one time and then it's ready like two hours later. But that's what sweet cooking is, you know? Just show you again. There it is. See the spinners? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish spinning the other ones. And um, yeah, I'll come back to you when when the pot is almost is ready. Almost ready. And I got my rice over there, my white rice steaming over there. Yes. And uh, yeah, so there it is. So guys, here it is. Mission completed. Stew peas is cooked ready and ready to be devoured. There it is. There's our stew peas. And here's our rice. And I'll plate it and show you how it looks plated. And you guys get the first bite. <laughs> okay guys, so here is our stew peas all done here's all their salt meat in here beef oxtail um, pigtail and this is for you guys yum okay now I'm gonna try some mm. Mm. so good guys mm. so good don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay thank you so much see you